Hello friends, Eli here from Mystic Circuits. I'm trying out some new stuff for our upcoming demo videos. As you can see, biggest difference is I'm in front of the camera now. Let me know how you like it in the comments. Another thing you might notice is that I'm wearing this wonderful portal t-shirt. If you like it, go ahead and check out our website. So the plan is to make a new series of demo videos about Ana. I can't be humble. It's one of my favorite modules. I use it in almost every patch. I'm always finding new uses for it and discovering new things about it. The purpose of this first demo is to show examples of using Ana to do something called Boolean logic. For those that don't know, Boolean logic is used to combine gates in interesting ways. I know it sounds complicated, but it really isn't once you get the hang of it. I'll provide some links in the description below for more details. Ana is capable of doing most simple Boolean logic functions, as well as some fairly complex ones with a bit of patching. For simplicity's sake, the following patches show logic between a 120 BPM steady clock and a clock that is four times slower. The 120 BPM steady clock is patched into a hi-hat, and the output of the logic module is patched into the bass drum. Let's take a look at what Ana can do to gates. Patch both gates into in1 and in2, and patch out of min for an AND gate. Patch both gates into in1 and in2, and patch out of max for an OR gate. At this point, it can be useful to think of the min and max gate outputs as a voltage-controlled switch for gates. When the slower clock goes high, the faster clock is routed to the min output, whereas when the slower clock goes low, the faster clock is routed to the max output. Patch both gates into IN1 and IN2 and patch out of MAG for an XOR gate. Patch a gate into IN1 and turn both knobs all the way clockwise for a logical inversion. Using the sum inputs can either add or subtract a gate from the input to a logic function. Plug four gates into all four inputs and turn both knobs clockwise, then patch out of the max output for the logical OR of all four gates. This effectively adds four gate patterns together. Patch out of the min output, and this will give a slightly more complicated logic pattern. You essentially have an AND gate processing the output of two OR gates. Turning the knobs counterclockwise will subtract the gate at the IN input from the gate at the SUM input effectively allowing one to choke that channel with another gate. This can be handy to make the output gate pattern less dense. As you can see, Anna is capable of some pretty complex logic functions. Anna can behave as a latch with the right settings. The step output is designed to be fairly non-linear, so it might take some fooling around with the settings. In this patch, we have a Euclidean pattern from Tom's Util going into the IN1 jack, and a clock coming from the Tempe into the IN2 jack. When Tempe's clock is low, the Euclidean pattern is passed through. When Tempe's clock is high, the output state is held. The output is patched into the decay setting on the hi-hat. At this point, you might have noticed that sometimes the output of the logic functions are negative. This is the nature of analog logic. The logic functions will work with variable voltages, as well as with negative voltages, and still perform a computation. This can be useful for gates if you want to use the negative portion of the output as a second set of triggers. 
In this case, I have a 4MS SISM inverting the box output to get two trigger patterns from the same output. LFOs can be used to great effect to shift the gate patterns around and change where the gates will trigger their respective drums. To illustrate this, here is a patch where two gate patterns are patched into the sum inputs. Notice when I move the knobs that the patterns change. Now, patch an LFO into the IN-1 or IN-2 jacks and the pattern will change along with the LFO. Here is a little jam using Ana to modify some trigger patterns. I hope this video helped clear some things up and give you ideas for patches. Thank you for watching.